And while Congress is in recess, Senator Tom Cotton is spending time with high school students in Fort Smith. Five News reporter Amy Slanchik has more on what the senator and students talked about today. An exciting day for about 300 juniors and seniors at Southside High School as U.S. Senator Tom Cotton took the stage. I hope someday to be a politician, so for me to listen to him was very inspiring. Terrorist groups do continue after their first attack. Even While topics like off. terrorism, wage levels, national debt, and Apple's feud with the FBI were discussed, the politician also took time to talk about how he got from his hometown in Arkansas to the nation's capital. I try to share a little bit about my life how I went from Dardanelle to the Army and now to the Senate. His message is already sticking with senior Kate Truitt. Write your plan in pencil. Don't write it in pen. That way when it does change, you don't freak out and you understand that it might be just God's plan for you. Cotton was impressed with the questions from teenagers. Sometimes you get better questions from students than you do from adults. And since there wasn't time for every student to ask a question, many left the auditorium with something on their mind. I would have asked him a couple different things, mostly about uh, immigration and what he thought about the Syrians coming in or the Hispanics coming in. And I also would have liked to what he thought about the campaign right now. He talked a lot about the issues with our national debt, but he never told us how he would uh, fix those issues. So I would have asked him that. 17-year-old Patrick Doherty says he's just excited to have exposure to a politician at his age. Really, our political foundations are based upon what our parents think and what the adults around us think. So I think it was very good for high school students to get exposure to him and for him to kind of fill us in on what he thinks and what's happening around us so that we can start to form our own opinions. In Fort Smith, Amy Slanchik, 5 News.